some of the top elected officials from the city and state meeting together in Harlem for a public safety summit organized by the Reverend Al Sharpton. Yeah, New 12's Greg Thompson joins us from outside the National Action Network headquarters. Greg, what's going on? Yeah, and something almost everybody talked about from the mayor to the attorney general was just how many of those top officials right now are people of color. And they say that's something that actually gives them a unique opportunity. 23 is going to be the year that we show how to govern and deal with public safety from people that have been the disproportionate victims of both those criminal justice reforms that are needed and those violent crimes. The 90 minute meeting happening on the same day the city announced that while overall crime was up from 2021 to 2022, it was lower at the end of this past year than it was in the fourth quarter of 21, which was right before the current city administration took office. Still, if a woman walks down the street and feels unsafe, all of that means absolutely nothing if there's a perception that we are unsafe in the city and in the state of New York. There's a distinction between being safe and feeling safe, and we actually want people to be both. Leaders agreeing that part of the issue is that they weren't together enough, especially in public. We didn't demand that people see the unification of a city led by black and brown people that have fought on behalf of helping people for generations. We love the press, but we don't need to communicate with each other through the press. So the officials pledging to keep the conversation going with more meetings and discussions on public safety, calling 2023 the year of communication. We have to get to the root causes of what's causing the crime in the first place. We have to talk about those difficult things like poverty and housing and education and lack of jobs. That's what lead people to the criminal justice system. So a lot of important ideas being floated around there, Greg, on something safety that people are just so into right now. Were there any other specific details on what they talked about tonight? Not really that were shared of us, and that was kind of on purpose. Attorney General Letitia James said they did talk about those specific plans and solutions, but that was in the meeting that was in the back room away from the media, and they just kind of want to keep talking, keep having meetings like this, and keep those discussions private for now. Then, as part of that unity thing, once they come to an agreement as a group, then they'll share it with the rest of us. So, latest for now in Harlem, Greg Thompson, News 12.